Now for part C, we're given that Jack is late for school and we've got to find out the probability that Camel is also late for school. And that can be represented by this particular notation, the probability of K given J. And to do something like this, especially when it comes from a Venn diagram, we can see that we know Jack is late for school, so we know it's this probability within here, 0.1 and the 0.15, a total of 0.25. Within this, what's the probability that Camel is late? So it's going to be 0.15 compared with 0.25. Camel is late given that Jack is late. So you've got 0.15 compared with the 0.25 here. If you work this out, you get 0.6. Now, if you're unsure of what I just did here, you can also just stick to the formula for conditional probability. You should be aware that the probability of, say, some event A, say, given B, this is documented in your book of tables normally, the probability of A given B is the probability that both events happen, that's A and B, divided by the probability of the given event, which in this case would be B. So this is a standard formula. So if we relate that back to this, you can see the probability of K given J would be the probability of both events occurring, so that would be the probability of K and J, divided by the probability of the given event, B it was in this particular example, so it would be the probability of J. And that's all I'm doing here. The probability of K intersected with J is the 0.15, and I'm comparing it with the probability of J, that is everything in there, which is 0.25. Okay, so do the sum then and you end up with 0.6.